Today I'm back with my M37 vintage off-road wrecker. I've been doing most of my upgrades on the front half of the truck, so today let's take a look at the back half of the truck and do some upgrades to the wrecker. Before I get to installing some of the new parts, I want to show some of the upgrades that I've done since the last videos. I have put LED headlights in the truck, so these look like standard headlights, but these are actually LEDs. They are very bright. I've also put magnetic lights up there. So there were lights up there before, but the old lights were permanently mounted. These ones are on magnets. So if I hit a tree, they just fall down. The way I've done that is creating these little cups that the lights sit on. There's a stud welded to it. So it can bolt into the original location. And when the light's sitting there, it also can't twist. So in the wind, these lights can't twist side to side, and they're always going to stay where they need to be. These lights work as both parking lights and turn signals. And they're yellow on one side and red on the other. Another upgrade I've made is replacing the old rusty chain that held the boom up with this one here. And on the top of the cradle, I was missing these hooks up here. So these are now welded on and the cradle is fully functional. Oh, and one last thing, I mounted a fire extinguisher over there in two holes that just happened to line up for the fire extinguisher mount. The first upgrade that I'm going to start with is replacing this old rusty winch line. This line is pretty frayed and pretty dangerous because if you were to rub your hand along this, you're going to get metal splinters for sure. Right now I have these chains anchored up here in a way that it will hold the sling. So by letting the winch out, I can take this hook off. As you can see, this hook and block are permanently attached to this wire. Because this is all welded along here. This hook is permanently welded here. I don't think this is the way it was originally. I think that things might have broken and they needed this to be strengthened up. But there's no way to get this wire out of here without cutting all this apart. So this is going to come off with the cable. The normal end of the cable is up here and it's just hooked down there. Now I can spool this whole thing out and remove it. There we go, we've made it to the end. Now I need to remove that set screw so that I can remove the cable. There we go. Now I can slip my new cable in and wind it up. This goes to show why you don't want to use your winch with it wound out all the way. This is going to be really weak. Its strength comes from being wound up. Now I just want to hold tension on the cable as I wind it up. The winch is all wound up, but it's a little hard to keep the tension on it at the moment. I have it connected here. That's because I need to do a little work up here first. The old sheave in this thing is not in very good shape. You can see a big chunk missing right there. So I'm going to take this out and replace it. And I'm also going to replace the pin. You can see how wobbly that is. So this is in dire need of a new sheave and pin. So what was in there? There was just a normal shouldered bolt. There was a washer on each side of the sheave. So the washer and the sheave would have been rubbing together. And of course the center of the sheave would have been just grinding on the shoulder of this bolt. I think I can do a bit better. So here's the new sheave that I bought. It's the same diameter, same thickness. This one actually has a bushing in the middle of it. And then for the center of it, I have these nice grade eight equivalent pins. So this will be riding nice and smooth right on that. And there will be a lot less friction in this situation. Not to mention this won't be wobbling around. I have the new sheave installed and I also replaced that other bolt that the hook holds onto. One last thing is needed to complete this and that's a new snatch block. All of the new equipment on this wrecker is going to come apart easily so I can easily switch between snatch blocks if I wanted to. 
Here I have laid out a two ton, a three ton, and a four ton. Obviously the original vintage one has no rating on it. I think I'm going to go with the three ton hook. It only has a three inch sheave where the original one had a four inch, just like this four ton hook. But the actual hook on this one is smaller, similar to the original one. Although this original one had a very large opening, much larger than even this hook here. So the old one was nice because you could hook it to almost anything, but that's not the case with these ones. And I'm sure that there's some safety in this new design that you would want to hook this shape and not the shape that the old one was. Okay, I've got it on there. And I'm going to love that this rotates. It was welded in place on the old one, which made it kind of a pain because if you wanted to use the shackle, you would have to hope that the wire and the hook are facing the correct direction. But this is going to be so much nicer to deal with and a lot more useful. There's one more new addition to the wrecker. On a lot of public land, they require a dune flag, and this flag must be eight feet above the ground. That way, vehicles coming over a blind hill should be able to see you and slow down or stop before they actually hit you. And I've designed this one to be quickly deployable. The end of the flagpole is attached to this rectangular block that fits down in there. And then on the side of the truck, that can be pinned into place. And then to hold the flag so it's not banging around all the time, made this bracket with a little maze on it that the flag can go through, and then that should hold it steady so it's not banging against everything. Now I have a legal dune flag so that I can go onto public land that requires it. It's been a while since I've taken this outside. It's getting a little dark, but let's take it outside, see what it looks like with all these changes. This is the first time I'm seeing this all together like this. That is really cool looking. All the lights are flashing. It's a bit snowy out. Well, that's going to be it for today. So if you want to see more videos like this, comment below. And of course, if you want to be notified when I post another video on my vintage off-road wrecker, click subscribe.